Hello. Yeah, hey, it's Badass Matt. Space Lumberjack. I was just watching your Flying Ryan review. Did you really kill Bad the Bully? What? No. Well, sort of. He'll be back. Yeah, well, there's still a lot of murder jokes in this review. Your next review won't be so murder-heavy, will it? No, it's just this movie called... Listen, just try to pawn all those darker jokes off on someone else, okay? Who am I gonna find that also wants to make murder jokes? Did somebody say... murder? I'm gonna call you back. Hello. I'm Edward Lee Loomis, but you can call me Ed. Just not Eddie. And today I'm starting my new show, the Dead Eye Eddie Reviews Show. I didn't agree to that! I demand to- Today I'm looking at the classic slasher movie, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. A film where people are killed by hammers, hooks, and one guy with a chainsaw. One guy does not a massacre make. So why is it called a Texas Chainsaw Massacre? This is clearly a product of our secular anti-murder media. Texas Chainsaw Massacre was released in 1974, at the very start of the golden age of horror, and essentially kicked off the slasher movie genre. Even though the insert in the DVD says the horror movie to end them all. The movie revolves around Leatherface, a guy who loves his family and wears other people's faces as a mask. Ah, this must be that face swap thing all the kids are talking about. Oh cool, this is based on a true story. That happened after they had started filming. Grave robbing in Texas is this hour's top news story. Grave robbing? Come on, graves should be take one, leave one. So we meet the main characters. Hippies. So, not characters you care to see live. So they pick up a hitchhiker and he explains what head cheese is. Pfft, head cheese. That'd be a stupid name for a movie. Then he gets a knife and cuts himself. Rookie mistake, you're supposed to cut them, not yourself. Happens to us all the first time. There, you got it. And this is why I always kill hitchhikers before they can kill me. The hippies pull up at a gas station and we see that they're missing a rear view mirror. Come on guys, that's dangerous. You could get hurt. I approve. The gas station owner seems to be trying to talk them out of going down to the Sawyer's house. And he's part of the family. What a dick! This wheelchair dude has a morbid obsession with his knife and the blood. I know a potential killer when I see one, and this guy, this guy is one. That must be why no one helps him into the house once they're there. So these guys go to boink by the lake, but they decide it'd be better if they attempt to survive. Lame. But it leads to them looking for gas at the old family farm. Oh, never mind the gas. Looks like this guy's getting hammered. Huh? Huh? Then Leatherface gets the girl, hangs her up, and pulls out the titular chainsaw. So here comes the massacre. Or it cuts away. That, that, that's fine. I didn't want to see that at all. Eventually one of their friends comes looking for them, and Leatherface has to put the hammer down. Now the wheelchair kid and his sister Sally are getting frantic as their dire situation sets in on them. Give me the flashlight! Oh. Give me the flashlight! Look, look, I'll go with you! I'll I go with can't! You. Ugh, if I wanted to hear people on the brink of losing it argue, I'd listen to the voices in my head. They go looking for their friends, but bad idea, Leatherface gotcha. Oh yeah, that wood door will stop a man with a chainsaw. <laughs> I mean, that's how I get in when I forget my key. My landlord loves me. He gets her out of the house, though, and running through the woods. And she trips and falls, so Leatherface can... let her run away? 
Finally, she stumbles into the gas station, but something seems off. Then it slowly dawns on her. Opening crypts and mausoleums where there was evidence of tampering, sheriff's deputies found a reported dozen coffins robbed of all or part of their contents. According to Sheriff Jesus Maldonado, there was... Holy shit! I am really hungry. I wonder if we have sausage. So they decide they'll have Sally for dinner. Uh -huh. No, seriously, they let her sit at the dinner table. Ah, uh, ooh, Leatherface, baby, that's evidence. They can convict if they find that. Then a lot of people scream. A lot. You guys hear it too, right? But Sally makes it out and causes the nice hitchhiker man from earlier to get hit by a truck. And the moral of the story is... Hippies are monsters and deserve no sympathy. I did like this movie, though. It's got a lot of great disturbing imagery and was hugely influential on the slasher movies for years to come. And I like that it made murder a family affair. Truly, the Sawyers have the family dynamic we should all strive for. Ah, uh, I get it. The Sawyers. Cause they kill people with saws. This is a pretty funny comedy, and I highly recommend it. That's... that's what you do with review shows, right? <laughs>